Here's how you can generate over $200 safely in less than two minutes and having the greatest investor Warren Buffett to work for you. If you want to find out how you can do it step by step, then make sure watch this business deep dive all the way to the end. Just recently, Warren Buffett had his annual general shareholder meeting and it was really a privilege for me to be able to fly over to the US to sit in the same room as Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger and learn from them directly. Berkshire AGM is also a place where the top investors all over the world gather and it was really great to learn directly from great investors like Monish Prabhai, Lauren Templeton and William Green. And from this AGM, I got to understand Berkshire Hathaway a lot more. Not just from its business aspects but also its culture and the integrity of the management team. So after attending the AGM, guess what stock did I add even more to my portfolio? Obviously, it's Berkshire Hathaway. Disclaimer, I'm already investing in Berkshire Hathaway, but right after the AGM, it just strengthened my conviction into this company even more. And one of the great ways to accumulate more shares is actually through the power of options. Because using BOSS option strategy, you will get paid in advance for promising to buy shares that you want. And that's how I managed to generate more than $200 in less than two minutes while promising to buy more Berkshire Hathaway shares. If you find it a little bit confusing right now, don't worry, I'm going to break down for you step by step. But in case you think that Berkshire Hathaway is just another investment holding company, I am going to debunk this myth for you. Because the investment arm is just one part of the business. Berkshire Hathaway is way larger than that. And that's what makes Berkshire Hathaway super strong. It's a conglomerate holding company that owns insurance companies, railroads, energy and utilities, to even candy making. It has a super diversified business portfolio that can weather through different economic conditions. So in this video, before before I share with you the option strategy, I'm going to break down the business models of Berkshire Hathaway for you so that you can decide for yourself whether is this a business that you want to consider investing as well. Let's go! Here's the latest annual report of Berkshire Hathaway. And from the first glance, 2022 seems to be a very bad year, with the company losing more than $20 billion. But is the company really that bad? Now let's take a look at the first business segment insurance. Berkshire owns a few insurance companies from auto insurance companies like Geico to reinsurance firms like General Re. It made a net loss of $90 million from its underwriting, which means that the company is losing money from selling insurance policies as they pay out more claims than the premiums that they receive. You might be thinking there are so many risks that is unpredictable by running insurance companies. For example, natural disasters, accidents, cancer, diseases. Why would Warren Buffett want to own insurance companies? Well, that's because by owning insurance company, Buffett is able to tap into the power of float. If you are wondering what's float, the concept is very simple. Think about you buying an insurance policy. Do you pay now or do you pay later? The answer is obviously now but the insurance company will only need to pay you later on when you indeed touch wood, encounter any accident or have any form of diseases. So this collect now pay later business model give insurance companies a golden window of time to hold large sums of money, which we call float. And if they know how to invest this float well, that's how they are able to make more money. In fact, the insurance arm has been the key propelling engine for Berkshire's success since 1967. The amount of float that Berkshire owns just grows tremendously over the years. From initially $39 million to $164 billion and this gives Buffett a tremendous pool of cash for him to invest to grow even further. Now, although Berkshire suffered a small underwriting loss last year, the company still have an excellent underwriting record. For the entire 20 year span, Berkshire has 18 years of underwriting profit. The underwriting insurance side of business make Berkshire close to $29 billion, which technically means the company got paid $29 billion for using the float for free and make more investment income from there. Oh my god! Wow! This track record is definitely not an accident because just like what Buffett said, discipline risk evaluation is the daily focus of our insurance managers. All insurers give that message lip service at Berkshire. It is a religion 
Old Testament style. Apart from insurance company, Berkshire also owns railroad company BNSF, one of the largest railroad system in North America. It also has several utilities and energy company serving more than 5 million customers and 5 interstate US natural gas pipeline. Not to forget that Berkshire also has manufacturing business, producing a wide range of products from specialty chemicals to owning a basket of retail businesses like Seas Candies. Mm. So yummy. All these businesses are making very consistent cash flow for Berkshire Hathaway so that Warren Buffett and Charlie Gamunger can invest even more. Now here comes the most well-known side of business, Berkshire's investment. They made a grand total of $53 billion in losses last year. Now before you think that Warren Buffett has lost its age as an investor, you need to understand the context of how the gains or losses are calculated. Firstly, the stock price fluctuates every single day and every single year. So last year when the market had a huge decline, Berkshire portfolio was also affected. So on paper, Berkshire was losing about $53 billion. However, these investment losses are unrealized. In other words, Berkshire did not sell away the stock at the lower price but it simply have to book in the loss on paper according to accounting standard. Just like we can never judge a book by its cover, we should never judge a company by one year's performance. In fact, Warren Buffett said, we believe the investment gains and losses, whether realized from the sales or unrealized from changes in market prices, are often meaningless in terms of understanding our reported consolidated earnings or evaluating our periodic economic performance. So instead of looking at short-term one-year loss, or gain, we should be looking at the business long-term performance. And if you look at Berkshire since 1965, it has generated 19.8% annualized return as compared to the broad market 9.9% return. That means if you have invested $1,000 back then in Berkshire Hathaway in 1965, your $1,000 will have now become $24 million. And that is the compounding magic brought by investing in a great business over a long period of time. In fact, I had the privilege to talk to a few investors from the recent Berkshire AGM and some of them have been holding on to Berkshire stocks since more than 20 over years. Back then, Berkshire Class A share was only $30,000 and today, it's already close to $500,000. By the way, I share the most important lesson. If you want to know my greatest key takeaway from Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, then make sure to check out the video over here. So now that you know Berkshire is a very diversified company run by capable management team. Now the next question is, when is a good time to buy? If you look into the annual report, you can actually find out the exact price that the company used to repurchase its stocks last year, which is $303.83. So what does that mean? It shows that Warren Buffett thinks that the company is undervalued at about $303 and that's why they initiated company share buyback. So the key is how can we use options to take advantage of this? Now if you look at Berkshire's stock price today, this is way higher than $303. So normal investors out there generally have to wait for the stock price to fall before they can buy any shares. However, if you are an options investor and if you know how to use BOSS option strategy, you can actually use this waiting period to generate additional income. What I did was actually selling a put option on Berkshire Hathaway for one month and promising to buy Berkshire at $305. In return, I pocketed about $160 US dollars, which is equivalent to about $200 in less than two minutes. So at the end of the one month, if the stock price remains to be above $305, I will not be able to buy Berkshire at the price I want. However, I already pocketed $160 US dollars as a premium in the first place, which means it's free money for me. Scenario number two, at the end of the one month, Berkshire Hathaway stock price continued to fall to below $305. Now I will get to buy 100 shares of Berkshire at $305, which is the exact price that I wanted in the first place. So regardless scenario one or two, it's a win-win situation for me. So using the same concept, you can also execute BOSS option strategy on Berkshire Hathaway with your portfolio. However, if you are very new to options, my advice for you is to get yourself educated first so that you will know what option strategy is suitable for different market conditions. If you are keen to learn, then do join us in our upcoming free two-hour options masterclass to get started step-by-step. Step. All you need to do is to click on the link around this video and register for your free spot.